there, I'm Nathan from 3000RPM. Today we're going to be having a look at increasing the memory capacity of your desktop PC. I'll show you in simple steps how you can put in a larger hard drive so you've got much more storage capacity and I'll also show you how to change the RAM so that you can make your computer run a little bit quicker. It's dead simple to do, just follow these steps and you'll be able to do it yourself at home. Let's get started and we'll show you the first step. So in order to change any components inside a desktop PC, it's easiest to do it while it's on its side and you'll need to remove the panels from the sides. This particular one has thumb screws for the top but you may have to use a screwdriver to unscrew the others and all of these screws are located right on the back at the edge. Once you've removed all the screws, you'll need to actually remove the side panels themselves this is done by placing your fingers inside a groove on the top and just pulling it towards you, which will slide it out of the catches. And then you can just lift the whole side panel completely away from your computer. We'll just have a talk about the components inside your computer. Make sure your power supply is completely detached. The RAM that we're going to be changing is this long, thin orange section, and there's a, a number of slots for it. The hard drive is located just here, you can see all the connectors. There's a disk drive up at the top, which may be a CD or DVD. The main blue section is your motherboard, and then the central processing unit will be underneath the fan just here. You can also see there's some extra slots for graphics cards or Wi-Fi cards if you want to install those as well. A closer look at computer RAM. You can see it's a long, thin module. It looks slightly different to laptop RAM. So make sure if you're buying some new stuff that you know which type you've got by looking at your computer manuals. The hard drive is located here. This is where all your documents and your operating system are installed. So make sure that you've reinstalled an operating system on whatever new hard drive you're going to use. We'll start with RAM. Removing the old module is very simple. You can see there's some white catches at each end of the module. You'll just need to push both of these at once and that will release the memory module completely free from the computer. You can just lift this old RAM away and put back a new one into place where it came from. You can see there's two sets of contacts and one side is slightly shorter than the other. Make sure you've checked which way round it is so that when you're trying to put it in it will slide into place correctly. Putting it in is just the reverse. You push in gently down into the contacts and then make sure the two white catches are brought back together to hold it in place securely. The hard drive is sometimes a little bit fiddly to get to, mostly to do with all the extra wires and cabling that are around it. But the first thing you need to do is release it from the main unit of the computer and this is done by unscrewing the screws. There's usually two on each side. On one side they're much easier to see but on the other side because of the width of the hard drive they are slightly indented into the machine. You'll need to unscrew all four of these screws and keep them nice and safe because you will need them once you put in a new hard drive. Once you have removed all of these screws, you'll find that the hard drive becomes completely free and you'll be able to slide it forwards and backwards. However, it won't come out because it is still connected to all the cables. What you'll need to do is release these cables from the hard drive. So just gently push away any ones that you don't need out of the way and identify the ones that you're going to be removing. There should just be one or two cables to remove and they're usually just push fit. So to remove them, you just need to pull them straight out from their location. Make sure you do this quite gently so that you're not tugging and pulling at any wires that are connected back into the computer. And once you have removed those, the whole hard drive will just slide completely free and away from your computer. To put in your new hard drive, 
it is all just the reverse action carefully move any other cables out of the way and slide it into the bay where your old one came from. Again, be very cautious not to tug at any of these wires as they are connected into your main computer. Slide that all the way in and make sure it's nice and snug and secure and reconnect these cables in the same place that you took them from. It's always worth taking a good note of where you removed them from on the old one so you know where to plug them back in to your new hard drive. Once you've connected in these component connections you'll just need to secure the hard drive back in place by screwing in the screws on both sides. Once you've done all of that you can put back your side panels they just need to place back onto the side and then push forwards to slide into place. Once you've done both sides, you can re-screw in the screws that hold those panels in place. And as soon as all of that's done, that is you finished. So there you have it. That's how you can increase the memory capacity of your desktop computer. Much easier than a lot of people think but if you do have any questions on this, please just post a comment on the bottom of this video or check out our Facebook and Twitter pages for more support.